Hey guys, it's Will Pemble here. Good morning party people, it is Will Pemble. Happy Thanksgiving, it's Will Pemble. Today I'm going to show you how to make my mom's cornbread stuffing. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are gonna do some experimenty cooking. Good morning, okay, here we are. This is Sunday. I completely rebuilt the wheel assembly for the front of the cart and I'll give you a look at what it looks like. We've got it up here right now, ready to launch, but we had a gigantic branch fall from way up there down onto the track. So as you can see, I've got Ellie up there at the top of the track. I've made some changes to the track. If you see down at the end, I don't, it's hard to tell from here, but I've changed the bank. I've banked the track so that it's a 15 degree bank all the way around. So it should feel a lot better when she goes which is gonna be right now. Lower. See, she turns, leans into the turn this time. The cart works a lot better. folks I went to high school with and you'll know George and this is his daughter Meg. We're gonna go meet her. I think they're pulling up right now so let's go get them. I am here today at Knott's Berry Farm. We're in Southern California and we just can't help it. We love this place so much. I'm at the Exploratorium in San Francisco. It's one of my favorite places to be. One of the best science museums in the world and I want to show you something inside and it's really gonna help us to figure out this whole gear rate. We are here at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. We are at Disneyland. Yes, we are. Here's a little clip of how we went about testing our cameras before we used them on the ride. Three, two, one. Oh, am I going to start? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'll start. <laughs> so my drive gear it's gonna go right around here and then off for the rest of the course. To make that come true, I'm gonna need a couple of things. So we've mixed all the ingredients together. I'll put the ingredients up on the blog if you wanna make this yourself. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into the KitchenAid and we're gonna pour liquid nitrogen in and that's gonna be what does the cooling. Yep, the first plan was to have it go down and then come down this track and then kind of up and over and there. But a couple of things happened there. First thing that happened there was Liz said no. If you want to watch, you're welcome to. I've got to dig 10 post holes, which is about, I don't know, 24 feet of post hole and sink some posts. It's a fair bit of work, but I learned a trick on Gilligan's Island uh, how to do it pretty fast. So if you want, you can just kind of sit over there and watch. So here we go. All of the kinetic energy that you start out with at the beginning of the thing translates into speed because that's the that's the fun part of a roller coaster and if you have too much speed that's an easier problem to solve than not enough That was Meg. She rode and rode and rode and we had a great time and we had some ice cream and we played and I'm really, really glad that she was able to visit. So thank you, Meg, for coming. I'm pretty sure you're off to a sleepover now and if that's the case, I hope you are not the first one to go to sleep because everybody knows if you're the first one to go to sleep, you're probably gonna get a mustache. So I'll be rooting for you and I'll look forward to seeing you again. Maybe you can come over and uh, Maybe you can come over and visit on Jeff's coaster when we get that finished over at Jeff's house, the coaster we're building for his son, Abraham. So, thanks for watching the Coaster Dad Project. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe and share and like and tweet and do all of those things to spread the good word so that we can keep on bringing physics, family, and fun to uh, kids everywhere. Thanks a bunch. Thanks for visiting Coaster Dad. See you soon.